All right, so in the last video, we kind of described the certificate signing uh, request and what that uh, sort of does. We send our certificate up in a RESTful file. That allows our CA, our certificate authority, to sign it. They send that signed cert back, which can then be validated by clients around the world that have trusted certificate stores that Let's Encrypt has made sure are populated with, you know, valid uh, public keys. Right on. So uh, let's go ahead and go through their automated process. In this case, we can do cert bot Apache hyphen D, and we have to put our domain here. So in this case, it's newbeck.moo.com hyphen, and that should actually be enough for that right there. I'm going to hit enter. And let's go ahead and put our email address here. And in this case, because we're sending it to a CA, I'm still going to go ahead and say Beck at uh, newbeck.moo.com because that email, again, I don't think is a key piece for this. We're going to find out. Please read the terms of service. And again, we're not going to be doing anything suspicious here. Should be willing to share your email address with the Electronic Fo uh, Frontier Foundation. And the EFF is all about open information and share and share alike and stuff. Um, I, you know, in this case, I'm going to say no because the email doesn't exist. It's going to now it's going through the process of sending out that CSR. And is waiting for verification. Now this is where I kind of wonder if we need to have a piece in place because it needs to, it's probably needs to check. Let's find out here what it says. So I'm going to go through a troubleshooting step here. You can see that it tried to probably fetch, uh, it probably tried to set up uh, probably like a Python web server or something that would serve this key up on our IP address. And so when Let's Encrypt on the other end tried to connect to newback.moo.com, it should see the thing that it's just publishing here, right? But it tried to do that on HTTP. And uh, in our case, we don't have that open through Amazon. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to open that up and we're going to give this another shot here. So I'm going to open up inbound HTTP and see if that doesn't allow this uh, bot to publish what it needs to so that Let's Encrypt can check by domain name to make sure that I actually own that domain name right now. And uh, there we go, HTTP. So I'm going to save that. We're going to open up port 80 now. All zeros. Once I've done that, I'm going to run my uh, cert bot one more time. I'm going to pause the video, I'll let you know how it goes. And that seemed to have done the trick. I just had to open up the firewall there. And again, it just published a key, kind of like a challenge that it published to our web server. If we were to do this manually, we would have had to grab a random value that the program generated. We would have had to place that in a directory on our web server, and then Let's Encrypt would have had to have been able to access that by domain name, which is essentially what happened. So let's encrypt went newbeck.moo.com slash random value that should be there. It sees it's there, knows, okay, this person must own this domain name. In this case, it's asking us, it's, it wants to edit our Apache configuration. And it's like, do you want to redirect all HTTP to HTTPS? I'm not going to have it edit anything else. I'm going to say no redirect because we're just doing this to kind of prove a point. So I'm going to put one for no redirect. It says, congratulations, everything is cool. Your certificate signing request has gone up. And uh, let's go ahead and test this out then in Chrome. So I'm going to do a Control-Shift-N inside of Chrome to get a private session. And I'm going to go uh, newbeck.moo.com. You'll see it takes us in. And I was a little shocked to see that, but I didn't put HTTPS, did I? I chose not to redirect. That's my fault. HTTPS slash slash. All right. And so now we get our lock. And when we click on it, it says connection is secure. 
and we can take a look at the fact the certificate is valid. Uh, if we click on that, we can see that uh, it is valid from 9-13-2020 to 12-12-2020. So that's the thing about these free Let's Encrypt certificates is um, they're only valid for three months, and then you have to sort of recertify it. You have to go in and go through that process again. They offer sort of an automated way to do that, but it's free. Three months, not bad. Uh, so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to uh, click on the little lock, choose certificate when you're on HTTPS, your site, and I'd like to see a screenshot like this. And I'll create a turn in. Oh, <laughs> there's that. And uh, let's see where we take a screenshot of the URL bar, your site with the lock and the details for your certificate. So you're going to turn this in uh, inside a classroom and you'll see a PKI turn in. I'll be real clear about where that is. All right, there you go. Congratulations. You have a solid HTTPS website up that is being authenticated through Let's Encrypt.